Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Ethics Hours. My name is Anand Dosapati. Today, we are going to discuss about enabling data cloud in production as well as in sandbox. So, let's start with how to enable data cloud in production. So, here is the org. So to see if data cloud is already provisioned to our org, click on the gear icon here and you should see data cloud setup. This is one way of doing it. And if you don't see here, let's see how the steps looks like. To set up or enable data cloud in production, click gear icon, go to your account, <clears throat> product catalog manage your products you see data cloud provisioning add to cart go to the cart you see this right and do the checkout for me it's already enabled so let's see what type of exception it throws if it has been already enabled it might take some time while it process i would like to discuss about you know free data cloud account so starting dreamforce 2023 salesforce announced free data cloud uh, provision or subscription for all the editions of their customers from enterprise edition and above meaning enterprise edition and unlimited edition okay and here you can see how much free consumption we can get as part of the basic license we are getting and what are the services we gonna get okay this is one important thing so companies who wants to play around with data cloud and see how it works and what streamlining of data they need on their end all this can be done free of cost then once the POC is successful, then the business use case is uh, identified, then Salesforce advises to go and buy the actual data cloud credits. So here are the steps on how activating data cloud in your account. That's what we are trying to discuss right now. And let's see if, yeah. So it's see the cart exception max quantity one of products for data cloud given it's already enabled in the org it's saying it cannot re-enable because the max quantity is only one so close this and to see if it's enabled or not the easiest way is to see if the data cloud permission sets has been created in our org or not and i see successfully it's created data cloud admin and the data cloud user and one important fact is you see the name as genie admin most of you might be aware that data cloud genie was rebranded re as data cloud in 2023 so they still keep the same name as a genie okay so now it has been enabled if we go on the setup we can see the data cloud setup if i go on the data cloud setup here i already enabled the instance so that's why you see it's already checked otherwise you see a pop-up to set up data cloud just clicking on it it might take about some time to set up metadata create the data cloud instance for our org and whatnot for me it took about one hour to set up the data cloud so this is how we enable data cloud in production and verify by looking at the setup, data cloud setup and the permission sets. Now, if you see this homepage here, setup homepage, there are quite a few options here to assign the permission set, permissions, data cloud permissions. And if we see here, Salesforce is talking about six out of the box permission sets see six standard permission sets provided for data cloud to 
uh, you know grant visibility to the users in data cloud and we are also granted with 100 identity licenses for the people or the users who don't need salesforce access and just need data cloud access one important thing i identified is for each of the feature here they are having uh, they are attaching the help articles which salesforce usually does but i feel the articles are very clear and self explanatory okay these are some other automation features available with the data cloud and monitor the data cloud usage because checking the credits is a big concern from the clients uh yeah the feature is called digital wallet now come back to the step 2 of our agenda which is enabling data cloud in our sandbox data cloud in sandbox is still beta okay but the important catch is this point here when you use data cloud in a sandbox org your usage impacts the consumption of credits used for data cloud billing on the source production org so my understanding is data cloud is available for sandbox but not free it still consumes the credits okay so then you see a tab called feature management under which feature manager there are a bunch of options here and to enable data cloud in sandbox this is the feature you have to enable as i already enabled it you see it's grayed out so once we enable this that's when we either have to spin up a new sandbox or refresh an existing sandbox to copy the data cloud setup to the sandbox so data cloud in sandbox is available for all type of sandboxes so that's another interesting thing so we can play around with the metadata and the automations in the sandbox and follow the regular deployment cycle to sit fit qa pre prod what not based on the orcs devops strategy but remember it's still beta in sandboxes so i already initiated the refresh of my sandbox i'll show you in a bit how the data cloud setup looks like in a sandbox here i am in my sandbox let's check if we can see the data cloud features has been copied and the provision in my sandbox post refresh i click the gear icon yes i see the data cloud setup <coughs> and if you see yes it has been enabled and the setup has been completed so this is these are the steps to set up and enable data cloud in production as well as in a sandbox thank you for watching my video